Hello, it's Cried here with a breakdown for Great Spears, the most unique weapon class in the game in a sense. It has a weapon you can only own one copy of without glitching, one of the few madness weapons in the game, and a single non-unique Great Spear, which ironically makes it the unique Great Spear. Let us start by taking a look at the movesets that are different, and range of the Great Spears. This is the heavy and charged heavy attack of the Lance and Mogwin's Sacred Spear. This is the heavy and charged heavy attack of the Siluria's Tree and Vike's War Spear. This is the heavy and charged heavy attack of the Tree Spear. This is the heavy and charged heavy attack of the Serpent Hunter. Here are the attack ranges of the Great Spears. Thankfully, Vike is on the shorter end. Next, let us take a look at the attack rating, otherwise known as AR, of the weapons. Let us begin the discussion with the Serpent Hunter, a weapon made for slaying right card. This weapon has absolutely no stat requirements, as they encourage you to use this for the right card fight. Its unique Ash of War, Great Serpent Hunt, is designed with the boss fight in mind, where you get extra long wind blades extending from the Serpent Hunter's tip. Outside of the fight, it isn't that great. This weapon actually scales really well to strength, coupled with the fact that it doesn't have any other requirements. I heard this is commonly used for speedrunning, especially with its abnormally strong charged heavy attacks. I guess they did it for the Rikard fight. These charged heavy attacks have much higher MV. Next is the Silurius Tree. Its unique weapon arts actually stabs downwards rather than forwards if you don't hold it. If you do hold it though, the energy wave coming out from the weapon arts goes forward. This weapon art scales purely off the weapon's attack, so feel free to just optimize for AR, like I'm doing here on screen. You want to invest into strength first, and then if you have spare points into faith. Of course, you can still go full faith and still use this great spear, but it'll have less AR. Vike's War Spear is one of the few weapons in game that provides madness buildup and an extremely notorious great spear, especially when power stanced, as madness animation lasts extremely long. This is undoubtedly one of the best weapons in PvP, even though it's the shortest Great Spear, and patch 1.07 nerfed power stance status buildup. Since this weapon does not have arcane scaling, you cannot scale its madness buildup. Therefore, simply go for optimizing its AR. The flames from the unique weapon art, Frenzy Flame Thrust, only scale to faith, but this is usually not the main point of the weapon. This weapon art inflicts the user with a bit of madness. One more interesting thing to note is the shape of the flames. There are actually areas in between the flames where you won't take damage, as the fire is shaped like three fingers. On a full faith investment, this is the AR you'll be getting, which is much lower than the dexterity counterpart, but still acceptable. Next is the tree spear, one of the few weapons where you can still buff it, despite it having a secondary damage type. It has a generic weapon art, Sacred Order, which you can get from Ashes of War. Sacred Order was recently buffed in patch 1.07, allowing it to be much more viable in PvE outside of killing undead enemies. This is a weapon buff that lasts for 60 seconds, and it increases your overall damage by 10%, and gives you a 100% damage bonus versus undead enemies. The reason it is bad for PvP, which you might not know because the wiki is still missing it, is that it has a PvP modifier, nerfing its buff to only 2.5% in PvP. Since Sacred Order applies the buff to the weapon, it is also stackable, 
as you can have an offhand weapon buffed with Sacred Order, as well as a main hand buffed with Sacred Order, to get a 21% overall damage boost, since the damage boost is multiplicative. To maximize this weapon's AR, you will need a 3-way split. People often call the Tree Spear a dexterity weapon, because it scales better to dexterity than faith, and has higher base physical attack than holy attack. But is that really true? Let's compare a full dex tree spear first to the three way maximized tree spear. As you see here, it is only 2 AR lower than doing a three way split. Furthermore, if you're mixing with other weapons, the full dex investment is usually preferred too. So calling this a dexterity weapon makes sense. How about versus a full faith tree spear? The full faith version has lower AR indeed, but remember the tree spear's property of being buffable. If you are going for faith, it is likely that you are using a seal. This allows you access to the incantation buffs. I chose the Order's Blade because it is also holy, so we don't need to suffer from defense thrice, unlike the Electrify Armament or the Fire buffs. This makes the calculation easier, but do keep in mind the Order's Blade does have a 13 intelligence requirement. Anyway, for AT Faith with the Erdtree Seal, we are actually getting 940 AR if we add the Order's Blade to Tree Spear. Comparing that to a Dexterity build with Sacred Order activated, we're getting 16.5% more damage so to speak in PvE. This number will be even higher in PvP. The Dexterity build does have more physical damage, so more counter hit damage though. But it also suffers harder from defense, as Sacred Order's buff is applied after negation calculation. But generally speaking, you're going to be doing more damage with a faith build if you run a buff. If we repeat the experiment at a lower investment level of 58, this is what we get instead. Checking for incantation scaling, we're going to use the Godslayer seal this time. We are going to get 877 total AR, which is still much higher than the dexterity build with Sacred Order activated. One thing to note is Order's Blade and Sacred Order both take up the same weapon buff slot, so you can't have both of them activated at the same time. Mogwin's Sacred Spear has a very powerful weapon art, Blood Boon Ritual, that gives you 118 hyper armor on cast and every follow up. You can cast this weapon art up to 3 times in a row. This thing not only deals massive damage but also inflicts a ton of bleed buildup. Furthermore, it also gives your weapon a 30 fire damage buff for 20 seconds that doesn't scale. For this weapon's investment, you want to go for Arcane, as both the physical and fire portion of the weapon scale to Arcane. You can also go for Strength after 58 or 60 Arcane, which will grant you around the same amount of AR as going for 80 Arcane. However, there are parts of the weapon art that only scale to Arcane, and you also get 2 more bleed if you go for Arcane. So for maximization purposes, full Arcane is definitely the way to go. As a weapon, its stats are not bad considering it has bleed. It is also the longest great spear. For our final great spear, we have the only regular great spear, the lance. Starting with a heavy infusion, these are its stats at the 56 and 80 soft caps. I also included the serpent hunter, which has higher AR with the same investment. However, do keep in mind, even though the lance has a 14 dexterity requirement, it weighs 3 weights lighter and is much longer than the Serpent Hunter. Furthermore, the main selling point is that you are able to choose a much better weapon art. The Fire Infusion is just a split scaling version of Heavy, nothing too special about this one. Next comes the Keen Infusion. The Lance doesn't scale that poorly on Keen, but the AR is definitely lower than Heavy. It also has a 20 strength requirement to meet. This is the Lance's Lightning Infusion. Since the Lightning Infusion is split scaling on Dexterity build, we can also compare it to some other Great Spears that have decent AR on Dexterity, namely Vikes and Tree Spear. The AR is really similar, so honestly, the Lance's best selling point is the customizable weapon art, as Vikes has madness, while the Tree Spear is buffable and longer than the Lance. While quality infusion is poor for meta PvP levels due to how much stat you need for it to be good, the Lance itself actually scales surprisingly well to quality. It doesn't make it good for meta PvP levels, but at higher levels, you can see its quality far outstrips its heavy infusion as an example in terms of AR. 
As far as flame and sacred goes, the lance actually has higher AR than the tree spear. But do keep in mind, the tree spear is buffable, and the lance is not on sacred infusion. If you want great spear as an intelligence build, the lance is quite literally your only option, as the other options all don't scale to intelligence. These are some examples of maximization for the cold infusion for the lance. It prefers a more strength and intelligence leaning investment, as despite both strength and dexterity being C scaling, the strength scaling is higher. This is also the same for the poison and blood infusion, which is why you will be investing into strength and arcane. Finally, for a cult, I don't suggest this infusion, as the lance does not have base bleed. I'll do a quick summary as usual, but I'll mostly be pointing out their unique parts. For specifics, it's better to look over each great spear for this weapon class in particular. The Serpent Hunter is known for its low stat requirements, good strength scaling, and abnormally high damaging charged heavy attack. The Silurius tree probably has the least going for it as a great spear. You would need to really like its unique weapon art to be choosing this one. As for the Vikes, the madness buildup is the entire weapon. Tree spear is buffable, despite having split holy damage which allows it to reach incredible amounts of AR. Mogwin's Sacred Spear has a really powerful AoE weapon art that can just outright win you invasions or even duels if enemies get caught in it. It also has bleed in addition to being the longest Great Spear. And the Lance is the only infusible Great Spear. Like and subscribe. And if you want to support this channel, please buy my fantasy novel, which will allow you to request or expedite any topic. See you next time.